Welcome to Drawing Solution. In this tutorial, I will guide you step by step on how to easily draw a two dimensional view on an isometric box of given dimensions. To start, draw a horizontal baseline and mark the center line. Use a protractor to create the x axis at a 30 degree angle, the y axis at a 90 degree angle, and the z axis at a 150 degree angle from the baseline. Based on the 2D view, the dimensions of the box are 9 cm for width, 8 cm for height, and 8 cm for depth. Now, let's select the front view for the 3D box. This view will have dimensions of 9 cm width, 8 cm, height, and 8 cm, depth. Create the front 2D view shape on the box 3D model. When viewed from the top, the front shape will appear as a single line with a length of 9 cm. Next, let's create the top view on the 3D box model. There is a rectangular hole that is 4 cm by 2 cm. We are able to determine that the hole is deep because there is no line in this 4 cm section. If there were a line, it would indicate that the depth stopped after the sum distance, but in our case, the line is open meaning the depth is up to the end, which is 8 cm. Additionally, we must reflect the line on the front view to indicate that there is a hole that is not visible from the front, and the line's depth is 8 cm. To create the hole on the top, move and mark 2 cm in each direction from the start to the finish. and the hole is 4 cm by 2 cm in dimension with a depth of 8 cm from the front view. When viewed from the top, the y-axis line will appear as a point, while the x-axis and z-axis lines will be visible. As we can see from the front view, there are points where lines should be extended to the z-axis direction. The extension distance is obtained from the top view because the line in the Z and X axis is visible. But Y axis is not visible from that perspective. Instead, it is perpendicular at that point, making it a point. From here, we can extend starting from this point, and the line will be 6 cm long. After extending, we should make the remaining lines in accordance with the top view. The measurements of our object are 4 cm by 3 cm when viewed from top, and they are the same as they are in front. 1 cm in height and 3 cm in width is indicated by a hidden line at that 3 cm location. For this rectangle hole to be made at this position, mark 2 cm from the starting and finishing points. Once the markings have been made, create the desired design. While the top view is important for creating rectangular shape. Keeping in mind the width and the front four height of one centimeter.
Finally, complete the drawing by extending the lines from the front view by 7 cm and 6 cm. and replicate the same shape on the top view. As I previously stated, the line in the y-axis is visible from the front side, but not from the top. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my site, Drawing Solution, as I will be coming up with different ways of problem solving related to drawing.